In this lecture, we're going to give a brief introduction into magnets and magnetic fields that magnets create. Now, what exactly is a magnet? Well, a magnet is essentially an object that contains atoms which are arranged in a special type of way and which exhibit special type of properties. For example, the atoms within magnets will create an attractive or repulsive force on other atoms found in other materials. Now, although magnets come in many different shapes and forms, all magnets contain a south pole and a north pole and there are no exceptions to that rule. So here we have two types of magnets that have different shapes. So we have a bar magnet and a horseshoe magnet. Now both of these magnets will contain a north pole at one end and a south pole at the other end. Now, in the same exact way that like charges will repel one another and unlike charges will attract one another, we have like poles that will repel and unlike poles will attract. So if we take one side of our bar magnet, let's say the north side, and bring it very close to the north side of a second magnet, because these are like poles, they will both exert an repulsive force on one another, and this force will be magnetic. Now, at the same exact time, if we take the north pole of one magnet and bring it close to the south pole of a second magnet, because these are unlike poles, that basically means they will create a magnetic force that will be attractive in nature. So these will repel and these will attract. Now, in the same exact way that we use electric fields to essentially describe electric forces, we can use magnetic fields to describe magnetic forces that magnets create. So, since magnets are capable of exerting a force over a distance, just like electric charges can, we can imagine that each magnet creates its own magnetic field, which is composed of magnetic field lines. So, there are three things that we should know about magnetic field lines. So, magnetic field lines essentially point from the north to the south pole. The direction of the magnetic field is always tangent to the field lines and the number of magnetic field lines per unit area is always proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. So let's suppose we have the following bar magnet and let's draw our magnetic field lines for our bar magnet. So notice that our magnetic field lines point from the north to our south pole. Now the direction of the magnetic field at any given point is always tangent to the magnetic field lines. So that basically means if we take a second magnet and place it within the magnetic field of this magnet, this second magnet will arrange itself in such a way so that the north pole points this way and the south pole points this way. So that this north pole points in the direction of the south pole and the south pole points in the direction of the north pole of our first magnet. Now, if we examine this area of our magnetic field versus this area, because the number of field lines per unit area is greater here, that implies that the magnetic field in this area will be greater than the magnetic field in this area. Now, notice one important difference between electric field lines and magnetic field lines. So, unlike electric field lines, which begin and end on the positive positive and negative electric charge, magnetic field lines will extend right through the magnet forming a closed loop as shown in the following diagram. So our magnetic field lines extend all the way through our magnet as shown in the following diagram. So they form closed loops.
So in the same way that we can form a uniform electric field, we can also discuss uniform magnetic field. So the magnetic field between two very long and large flat parallel plates is assumed to be constant. So if we have the following north pole and the following south pole and if the distance, if this distance is much greater than this distance separating our two poles, the magnetic field between our two poles is assumed to be constant. It's assumed to be uniform so that means the magnetic force will also be constant.